Hi everybody. So today I'm going to do a quick Bible unboxing of a uh, Bible that I purchased and I just unboxed two other ones that I bought from the same individual. One is this New King James Rebind by Post Tenebrous Lux. The other one was the Dark Brown KJV. This is the Skylar Canterbury in the Dark Brown Calfskin. So these just came out of another box. And this third one is the third Bible, which I purchased all three of these at the same time from the same individual. So this one here should be a R.L. Allen Clarendon, if I remember correctly. So we can see there, Allen 7C NB. So this is the Brevere Clarendon KJV Reference Bible in navy blue goatskin, leather lined, and has a cyclopedic concordance. Allen's boxes are very nice. I like their boxes. And this is going to be a nice, compact, hand size type of Bible. Boy, and I like the blue on this one already. That is a very, very pretty shade of blue. So we can see the double tool line around that outer perimeter. Looks really nice. We've got Holy Bible on the cover in gold. On the spine we have Holy Bible, Cyclopedic Concordance, and Allen. Very nice. I like the grain on that. That's a good looking little Bible. And that has a full yap, if I can get a better grip on that. So you can see that that is, in fact, a full yap. Completely touches. Just kind of hard to do there. So. so that is neat. I think that's probably one of the only ones I have that is, in fact, completely touches. But it says, Allen Binding by Royal Youngblood. And then we have Goatskin. You can see how nice their corner work is and the gold gilt line that goes all the way around. That looks very nice. It is edge lined. I'm not sure if this liner is a synthetic liner or if that's leather, that I'm not sure. I'll have to look into this a little bit more before I do a full review on it. So here we have printed in the Netherlands on acid-free paper by Royal Youngblood. So there's some of the license information. Well, wow, and that is a nice looking font in that. Nice and dark and bold. This is actually a great size Bible. So you can see that that's very readable. I don't recall what size the font is in this. I believe it's an eight point font, but I would have to verify and double check that. But we can see we've got our gold gilding, which looks really nice. And then it also has the red under gold. So that is very nice looking. We have three navy blue ribbons. They are angle cut, so those look nice. I like the length of them, plenty of length to come and flip your pages. This is a great size to hold in one hand. We've got our concordance, which is nice. We've got the maps, and I'll be doing a full review of this Bible. Nice looking maps. The only thing on these types, I wish that they would have separated them because you can see in there, in the gutter, there's cities and towns in there that we can't quite see. And that's going to happen on all of these. Same with this one here. There's letters tucked down in there. So that would be one thing that I would definitely change would be to put those on a two-page spread with the, put the box around it. 
because that's all of those are falling right into the gutter and then we do have our lined paper back here for note taking so that is nice very neat little Bible and then we've got a few pages of blank cardstock but that is an awesome size Bible and I did not have a blue Allen so this is the first blue one I've got blue now uh, red brown so good looking Bible so be watching for a full review on this one coming up soon and this one is the RL Allen 7c NB which is the Brevere Clarendon KJV reference Bible in navy blue goatskin all right Thanks for watching. Have a great day.